Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our infamous uh, no-shot run where we're trying to beat the game on legendary arm and difficulty without shooting a single shot or using any explosive. It is time for a supply raid, which is very much what we could use. Um, we can use a couple more alloys and specifically Alarium, so I am thrilled to have uh, that run going. Problem is, I think we are a bit short on on manpower here. We could go for that sort of setup. Whom else are we going to take? Certainly can't take Hawkbite. That's already a given. We could take a Reaper. Basically, for scouting purposes only. Is that worth it? Not sure. We should take another specialist. So that's like what? Uh, two frontliners and a semi frontliner? Damn, that is going to be a difficult mission. So a Reaper definitely could be helpful from a scouting perspective. But I think, yeah, overall, we're probably better off having yet another um, normal soldier with us. AKA another specialist. So we're going in with three specialists, two rangers and a skirmisher. Skirmisher might as well take the Mimic Beacon because we're not really going to use him for anything else at this point. Roby takes another Mind Shield. So yeah, we got both of the swords here, Mind Shield. We got sufficient healing power, so we should be fine with regards to that. And... Let's use maybe a mind shield here on Sane because he is pretty battered with his will and that means he's more easily prone to uh, getting panicked and so on and the mind shield might help. Uh, I don't know if mind shield actually prevents or cleanses panic from being tired, but we'll find out. Um, it's a non-timed mission. So we should really fight the way that we want to fight um, and kind of on our grounds. The losts will make it a bit more difficult. Uh, we've already seen that we take quite a bit of damage when fighting them. But yeah, there's really no option other than trying the mission. All right. So it is a, grab, a smash and grab mission. Which isn't the worst. Um, it means if things are turning out to be too much for us, we might as well just grab a few crates and then call it a day, essentially. We would want to stay hidden as long as humanly possible, so we're trying to take the high ground here and move towards this balcony. Alternatively, we're just moving through here because we only have melee attacks anyways so there's no no absolute need for high ground Roger that. all right Roby's charging up You know, I am thinking maybe the <clears throat> lure that's going to lure the chose uh, the lost towards a certain position might even be not completely useless in this particular run here because it would give us some breathing room. So maybe I am going to build one, actually try to use it. However, as soon as we do have blade storm. The whole thing becomes less and less practical. 
All right, two cougar moves up. And takes the high ground. Sonar moves up. Judge moves exactly to the corner. I hate positioning people without cover, but I also want to move in as far as we can. Yeah, not sure if we really would want to hit the Advent Captain. <clears throat> that would spawn a Codex. On the other hand, we are in a fortunate situation. On my way. It's actually not the worst position for us. So hitting the officer could be an option. And then we would engage on the other two. That would leave us with an option to get the crate. And the admin officer would be dying right away. He has a lot of hit points. So let's try to do it. Zukuger busts through the door. Step. And we have complete access. Yeah, let's get a try and go for some intel. Didn't work out. Good. We can't reach the codex, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so first things first, right? Let's start with getting this guy down. Solid hit. Of course, unfortunately, we're triggering some more loss, but that was to be expected. Let's finish this guy here. Over here. Okay, so I got one. PCS conditioning, that's bonus hit points, not bad. Good. So how about if we were ah eh, that's too far away. How about if we were to move up to here, then grapple our way all the way up to there? Could go to here. But we can't grapple. I still like the idea of the high ground. As you order. This gives us some more visibility. That appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Okay, it counts as a robotic unit, but unfortunately at the same time, <clears throat> it also does not take the same amount of damage. That is indeed unfortunate. It'll definitely teleport in and use its and use its psionic bomb. <clears throat> So the worst thing that we could do is use combat protocol in order to just split it. That's not good. 
We could theoretically teamwork and use an extra attack here, but I don't think that that is absolutely necessary. Not yet. Instead, let's aid protocol. The psionic bomb will happen here. And aid protocol. Okay, there we go. Good, that'll make the Codex even stronger. There's the teleport into Psionic Bomb that I was talking about. Not the end of the world for us because we're not using weapons anyways. And maybe even a positive if that loss would have come a bit further because um, if the lost ends its turn uh, right in there it's even better for us because it takes some damage uh, we're probably not going to get that chest Trying to find a good position where we would be this guy. Pulling him up here is not the best idea because we definitely would not be able to reach him. Pulling him to here, on the other hand, could be a better idea, but we're like drawing the fight very much into that direction. Okay, this here is a long shot. All right, there we go. Shield gone. Armor, unfortunately, still holds. We're out of school Jake options. Yeah, we're not going to go for the Brute. Not yet. Instead, let's charge in. Hit this guy nicely. Yep, the armor is tough. That's uh, that's a very true statement. Our target minimal damage. All right, Zukuger moves to here. And finishes this guy with a Comet Protocol. That will also remove the shield from the Codex. Now, Codex will start to hit us, which means now is a good time to deal with it. Very nice, it's stunned, and stunned means cannot it cannot replicate, even if it's just stunned for zero. And Yeah, hmm. I don't know if we should use all of our combat protocol. I'll be careful to not overdo it. We have four charges. This here is level range for either of the melees. Could I uh, could easily kill it? That's fine. That's good enough. Anchor down. 
And unfortunately, we're going to lose our crates. But we already were successful with regards to the codex, so we are reducing. Yeah, we're reducing the number of. Uh, we're reducing the number of boxes on the Doom Clock, so that's fine. This here is a bit unfortunate, to be honest. But we do have quite a few fast units, so should be okay. It's going to be a shot into open. Yeah, thanks to the mine shield, he has resisted that. Now this here will make our life much, 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 much more difficult. Good. We got a Mimic Beacon. We also know that there is a crate here. We need to at least secure one crate, guys. Elsewise, the overall mission is failed. So, can't <coughs> ignore the whole crate thing. Let's start with the Codex. Good, there we go. Big deal. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex is left behind when it dissipates. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the aliens' ongoing plan. Oh boy, that guy is tougher than expected. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have <clears throat> any form of ongoing substantial damage. We've really counted on on Hogby to provide that. So we are going to bypass all of these guys and Judge here has one task which is secure another crate whilst the rest will try to fight uh, the lost and it is with much regret <clears throat> that we're going to use comet protocols just to get that thing down Yeah, we're down to two Comet Protocols. <coughs> Sorry for a cough today. Yeah, we might even be... We might even be pushed back, which would be absolutely hilarious. That we couldn't even go up against the loss. Like, seeing their hit points, they do have quite a few. And damn it, more crates are marked um, to be pulled away. I can't move. Yeah, I don't think that we have the means to effectively get all of uh, these guys out of the way those two crates certainly cannot be recovered let's position ourselves right up there which prevents additional enemies from coming in oh boy a specter oh, this is just getting better and better isn't it
luckily they do have some of uh, the um, some of uh, the loss to shoot at so we're not the easiest target to hit and usually they are going for the loss then Josh has a mimic beacon Okay, well, can use combat protocol against the loss, which is such an abnormous waste. I would much rather like to use it here. But I can already tell you, this here is not going to be fun. Unfortunately, the melee attacks do not reset. So... The only thing that we can do is, like, literally kill two at a time. And give our front line here an aid protocol. And move the remaining... The remaining soldiers to high ground. Yeah, that is very unfortunate. I wish I could use. I wish I could use a form um, of fire to, to just get rid of the loss. Maybe the supersonic lure would have been the right decision, but we definitely would have needed to research that. Gotta get one crate. <clears throat> That's not the end of the world. We can still, we can still uh, revive him. We have revival protocol, so that's fine. It's actually maybe not even not too bad. Yeah, the Vipers are starting to do what Vipers usually do, which is messing with enemies. And maybe they are even helping us, who knows. Yep, that is a solid panic. Meanwhile, <clears throat> these guys here <clears throat> are fighting off Advent, so it's panic. Uh, that is perfect. Revival protocol, yes, please. That will not kill the shadowbound creature. Are you kidding me? Well, apparently you're not kidding me. These two are not yet triggered. We could position ourselves to here. Or we could position ourselves over here, which is, I think, the safer bet. Yeah, those two are neglectable at this point. And if we were to position a Mimic Beacon, like for instance, straight down here, that would at least keep uh, the three Advent forces 
busy. Okay, we got one more Comet protocol. We got one eight protocol, uh, which I would like to give to Judge. <clears throat> we need to keep him nice and healthy. It's only two damage to the Spectre as well. That stinks. So might as well take out a Lost. It's complete waste in my opinion. But we have no other means of dealing damage. So might as well use Comet Protocol. Roby uh, not using heal yet. Trying to get rid of some of the losts. Yeah, we need to fall back. How about moving all the way to here? This here would be in cover. Are we really afraid of these guys? No, we are not. So might as well move as far away as possible. There you go. The reason why I stand in open uh, ground is um, the Spectre will vanish or use Psy ability. So uh, not, not much uh, threat here. The Mimic Beacon will keep the attention for run one round. Shall we kill one more and just reduce the number of enemies? Or what's the most effective strategy? We're going to be hit anyways. So Roby here will take a few hits. Yeah, unfortunately, he can't move away after killing something. Yeah, what's the best position? If he moves to here, that'll trigger all of them. If he sort of moves to here, it opens himself up to be shot. But yet we do have the Mimic Beacon. So... This here might be the right move. It will require the loss from the other side to move really, really far. To move really, really far. And thus, those uh, losses around the tires, they are not able to take any action against us. Not for now. Alright, the Mimic Beacon is doing exactly what a Mimic Beacon is supposed to be doing. Very soon a new swarm of Losts will come in though. See, the guys around the tire needed to like move all, the, uh, all around that angle. Not sure if they can take a hit. No, they couldn't. So that was the right move. We did not lose any hit points. Now, off to the Hail Mary play that I was preparing, which is mark these supplies. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. There we go. Just moved away like a pro. Moving. 
and went into full cover. Okay, cool. Well, at least the skirmisher has done their job. Moving in to get ri uh, get away from the loss. Yeah, Diva here needs to maybe get upstairs. We want to hit the Spectre sooner or later. Just trying to get away from the loss at this point. <clears throat> and essentially let the enemy deal with the loss. Whilst we're hitting the enemy. So it's kind of using the loss to our advantage. Very soon another swarm will appear. And... If we have selected one of the crates and really extracted them, all we need to do is just hold our position tight until the timer runs uh, runs off and then we're just evacuating and call it a day. Not that we need any shots, but yeah, hunkering down. think that we need a protocol here so I'll save the cooldown good we're losing well not good but we're losing two additional crates Spectre is trying to deal damage and essentially heal itself. The Vipers, on the other hand, are dealing with the, lo uh, the loss to the best of their knowledge. And the only thing that a Viper knows is bind, 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 bind. That's okay. Holy shit. That was pretty good. But now a new Lost Swarm appears, so enjoy fighting them. Two Vipers and one Shadow Clone. Good or not, depending on uh, whether or not you like mass combats. So the Spectre might be killable very soon. This lost here, we can just strike. A bit wasteful use of our cooldown, but. Yeah, there's not much else I can do. Let's charge in and teach the Spectre here manners. There we go. Very nice. Two more losts down here. I think it's fair to say by now we need to fight Advent and not the losts. 
which means we're taking our nice little high ground position here. We're not going to use revival protocol, not yet. We are instead using eight protocol and hungering down to call it a day. We need a gremlin heal. Ah, not yet. Too early. <laughs> Zukuger can heal himself. And yeah, everybody else hungering down. Now we can use some healing. The Vipers continue to do what Vipers are usually doing, which is binding and killing. You had um, two losses down there. Why would you take a shot at us? Okay, well, there's a pretty nasty firefight against that Lost Swarm going on. And I'm just guessing that they will take some damage. But also that the Lost are going to come up here. Yep, there they are. Okay, we do have a couple of problems to solve. Number one, we got some severe, severely injured um, allies. Specifically Judge here, who's taken quite a beating. Number two, we got to deal with the Spectre. All right, it's stunned, which is fantastic. And now it finally is killed. That also means that the Shadowbound creature is gone. Good. Judge over here takes another healing. And effectively will block. So that way they, there's only a limited amount of uh, losses that can hit us. It's also going to hunker down. Roby takes in aid protocol because he can be flanked by the Viper. We're going to hunker down to make us a less attractive target. No need for an immediate use of the other heal. Gotta be careful, we still got a few more crates to go. Oh boy, this is a pretty intense mission, way more intense than I would have thought. We're up to four more, three more crates that are left. Well, that really didn't do much. Most of us, <clears throat> most of the soldiers up here <clears throat> had a nice little med kit, so the poisoning was pretty pointless.
The Viper is getting overrun. That's interesting side. Well, that might be the saving grace, because this guy is now going berserk. And as long as I don't have any control over the character, he can use his gun um, as much as he wants. Okay, well... So, we could heal ourselves, but we're still okay for now. The dashers are going to be a problem, regardless. But the bigger problem is the Viper. Some more losses that are going uh, to come our way, that was to be expected. And let's try to kill the Viper, <clears throat> because it is really incredibly annoying. Moving over here. And we are just getting the F out of here. A useful aid. See you later, alligator. I move. Not much that the skirmisher can do at this point. Maybe block a back entrance over here. It's just a matter of time until we're going to be overrun with only two swordsmen to to take them away. Yeah, our only hope is that the Viper here will essentially fight fight with them. Diva takes an aid protocol. And I think we're poisoned, yeah. Might as well cleanse that so that we're not going to take poison damage every round and therefore lose um, even more willpower every round. The Viper is soon going to be overrun by zombies. And we're almost done with the extraction of crates. Yep, that's what happens when you're staying too long in zombie-infested territory. Could move up. Could move all the way back to here, which is probably the right call. Just to get away and wait for some more time. And since Edwin is down, there's really not much we need to do at this point, other than maybe closing a door over here. You know, without uh, shooting from the balcony, the whole lost thing becomes much, much more difficult without shooting at all because there's no headshot mechanic and all of a sudden the lost uh, from being 
trivial because you have headshots um, start to be a real threat because you gotta invest a lot of uh, time to get all of the losts down and the swarm mechanic will eventually get you. Okay, I know how to deal with it though, because there is one balcony with only one entrance, and this is this one here. So what we're going to do is we're completely abandoning the rest of the mission, and we're going to hold up until the last crate is evacuated, because then we don't need to kill every everything. We just can evac. See you later, guys. Good. Lots and lots and lots of lost. Yet another swarm appears. Wonderful. And see, the problem is even if we had six rangers, right? As long as you do not have Bladestorm. Like, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you kill six, there are still 18 more, right? Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Still, like, ten, uh, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still four more. So you're taking a lot of damage <clears throat> just by trying to, to kill them. On. Then we got a two. Right, Even go. moves over there. Sona three. Zukuber four. Sane five. And. That's number six. Blocking the entrance. Let's heal Sukuger. And I think at the end of this turn, the last trade will be finally gone. Wow, just a lot of losses down there. Okay, we're putting the good old evac down here. And let's see that we can get everybody out, here, uh, out of here. No, we can't. And that's exactly what I was uh, thinking. So, let's free up a position down here. <clears throat> okay. Nice, that even gave us a promotion. Fantastic. Good, moving down. Zoo Cougar moves down, and we get Zonar. Um, 
that here should be an evex spot and roby that should be also an evex spot okay cool so one two three four five and six see ya later a much more difficult mission than i would have expected and certainly the first time that uh, i am forced to move away from lost five uh, injured soldiers but overall no one died and that's the important part plus we got ourselves a skull check and we successfully um, ended the mission very nice we got ourselves a good mission let's see how long the recovery time will be because we also took some damage oh boy 38 days that is harsh lightning reflexes is fantastic that is not bad either because we cannot really take um, take another action so let's go with reflex for now and lightning reflexes can be skilled next roby here could take either run and not gun or conceal so we're going to go with conceal yeah and the infirmary starts to look like a better and better investment please thank our troops for completing what was surely a difficult task in acquiring the codex brain we'll begin work on it as soon as possible we're getting thin on manpower commander we should check with resistance hq for new recruits. wow our work is proceeding as johnny bravo has sue Hooger has taken fear of psionics Ooh, well that is bad We certainly need to, yeah, we certainly need to continue training. Um, upgrade here would cost us some money. So let's go for, let's go uh, for finishing the supply scan. No, we're not um, in for the reduction of the contact costs. We need the supplies. And then we can uh, continue to heal. Yeah, the infirmary probably looks like the right call next. We're just taking too much damage. So we need extra recruits. No, we already got recruits, but we need more power. Okay, fair enough. There's the extra five power that you were asking for. And there's the second cell, which we're now giving to Dark Tar Noxus. And that's really speed training, right? We're, we're now training Psy Operatives um, right off the bat, too. This here must be an infirmary. I don't know how else to deal with it. We're just going to use school jacking for now in order to get um, in order to get um, uh, the coordinates for additional facilities. So we're um, maybe this is a good showcase of how you can play without continuously expanding. Like that's one strategy. There is another pretty valid strategy to kind of keep it in a moderate uh, sized um, yeah area, just like we are currently doing it and for the time being just focus on defending that area and we're using school jacking in order to get facility leads that is likewise the um, valid not as effective but um, sometimes you just cannot expand and yes i could continue building the relay but the problem is uh, we cannot do missions when everybody is so severely injured so next few days will be just healing up and eventually we even need to uh, skip or kind of sneak through a certain mission good we got magnetic weapons not that we need it um, but with it comes an opening probably need to go for alien encryption next 
I really like the Lost Orb, see? Let's think that through. This here is the lure. Currently having problems with them. And the lure is pretty cheap. So... Maybe. This is defense matrix. Can't use that in this run. This here is sustenance. Not bad, but a one-shot item. Um, this here is medkit. Not bad either. That's the only thing that we really would need. Mech breakdown. Um, will give us blue screen rounds. Fantastic, but not in this run. So yeah, we're going for alien encryption. That allows us to then build the shadow chamber. Yeah, that allows us to build shadow chamber. So that we can at least progress with the golden path. Oh boy, so recover an item from a resistance haven. Okay, and what do we have here? <laughs> Protect the device, that's not going to happen. And... That one is a nasty dark event as well. But I think we're probably best off to go into this mission here. Hopbite is back. So he might be able to solo that even. Recover an item. High number of beast-like enemies at this point also means a high number of faceless ones. Faceless ones means we can kill them and get mimic beacons. And that would be super valuable for the run. So I think just for the side trip, I'm going to do it. Uh, there is no... There's no real great reward. The Grenadier is not a good reward for us. And this here is completely out of um, out of the option protection of a device with a team. If, if you want to protect the device, you need to have a high uh, damaging team. And we have quite the opposite, right? Uh, we do have more a turtle-like team where we're trying to like slowly whittle down the enemy and uh, use a couple of abilities to disable um, the enemies. It's not necessarily like a uh, high damage uh, team that, uh, that, you would, um, uh, that you would need in order to just blast, uh, blast through it. If this here would be the Rise of the Robots run, where we had like four sparks at this point, and we're just boom, 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 or a Rainmaker bombing our way through it, then um, Protect the Device could work because you can essentially pull two or three packs at the same time uh, just use all of your cooldowns and be done with it but that's not how it works for us so yeah we gotta gotta be a bit mindful here alien encryption is fine i also would want to go for the highest armor plate um, plated armor but that um that shouldn't require magnetic weapons. Not sure what's missing. I will need to look up uh, the research tree. Elarium, we have already researched that. Um, and we should theoretically be good to go to, uh, to finish it. But maybe um, it's actually the weapons that is missing. I have to admit, Doesn't matter. Um, our, our armor so far is good enough. It'll eventually require some upgrade a bit later down the road. If we look at the overall um, setup, we're really making a, a good progress. Power Relay here will come in. Um, once this is uh, done, we'll, on top of it, have the option for an infirmary. I now made the firm decision that we really need that uh, just to keep, uh, to give us the option to even expand. Um, and then with a power relay here um, and the debris that's cleared down here this will be a resistance ring then we'll slowly move our way through here this will be another power relay so that we can like move um, away from this um, when we have resistance ring and infirmary we can then go to the other buildings such as the second psi lab um, or um, 
maybe the shadow chamber if if needed well resistance um resistance contacts will probably also be needed we're currently storing up some info that's fine there's nothing wrong with that uh, we can make more contacts over time that's good we still got a resistance order that gives us one more contact uh, so that is an option as well um, so overall we're going to build like the the towers um, when we do have time but at the moment um, you often need to uh, to tackle one problem at a time and if we're always um, completely caught up with like scanning for faster healing and that is all we do or 80 percent of what we do then we're missing uh, the opportunity cost for that is pretty high so um, although it is a great option to to have the school jack um, and also to go for school mining that was absolutely correct for this run and also it's a great option to have the extra abilities for all of our um uh, for all of our specialists that, that is good that was um i still stand uh, uh, firm that these two buildings were okay it all comes at an opportunity cost like going for the psi lab then uh, next that means you gotta um, you gotta accept that you will lose some um, scans on the uh, on the globe or that you won't be able to complete all of the missions so either way there there will be a cost associated with it good i think we're at the end of uh, today's session thank you so much for watching it was a longer one and uh, if you enjoyed uh, the thought process as well as the slug that uh, the slug or the furic victory that we're uh, getting uh, in the missions here then leave a comment and a like down below and see you in two days bye bye